We're starting in Winona, Minnesota, and we're going to go across the bridge into Wisconsin. We're going to turn right on Highway 35 and go south, downriver, to Trumplow, Wisconsin. Down here is an area that they call Trumplow Mountain, and we're going to kayak below Dam 6 in Pool 7, right here. If you want to try kayaking, they're available at Lake Winona. The bridge in Winona was built in the early 1940s. My dad helped build it, and we're going across it to Wisconsin. It's July 24th, 2014, and we're heading over to Trumpelow, Wisconsin. We're here in Trumpelow, Wisconsin, and we're going kayaking at a place called Long Lake on the Upper Mississippi. We'll be kayaking on Pool 7, which is just south of Dam 6 on the Mississippi River here at Trumpelow. At this point, the fog is just lifted. The water's a little bit high, maybe a foot, foot and a half higher than at its lowest, but the river changes all the time around here. Sometimes you like a little extra water in the river, it keeps the obstacles a little deeper below you. trees fall over out here and make a rather unique picture from their upturned roots as the soil is all washed out of them and you get a view that you just don't see a lot of places.
are signs out here showing you the way, but oftentimes they're covered up by leaves, covered up by mud, or have fallen over. So it's best if you have a map and just always realize you're between the bluffs and you're even between railroad tracks on either sides of the river here. But you can still get lost and come to a lot of dead ends. So you have to watch the current and kind of see when you can see. Right now you can't see bluffs or anything, so you can't hear any railroad tracks, and you can get going the wrong way real easily. So, but a map will do it for you, but you have to think, and keep thinking. These are what the backwaters of the refuge look like a lot of places, small channels like this, and islands, and uh, peninsulas from the shore on either side. Again, we're on the Wisconsin side of the river right now. We started out this morning in Winona, Minnesota, taking the car over the bridge. Up until now, the river's been up at flood stage for most of the summer, so it's finally gotten down to where it's relatively safe coming out here. And you just have to watch where you're going. You don't want to get out in a strong current if you're not real experienced. And the backwaters like this are a good place for beginners and for anyone who just enjoys the beauty of nature to get out and enjoy it. It's easy kayaking out here is why it's a good place for beginners. Very little current, and you can see many, many things that you just don't get to see elsewhere. I see an eagle up ahead sitting on a branch. We'll try to get a shot of that here for you. we're going to get to the main channel. This is actually a little side channel of the main channel coming up here. So this will be our place where there may be a little bit of current and you're kind of, uh, you've got to pay attention for other boaters and so forth out there. It's a weekday. I don't expect much activity. You can see the bluffs up there. It's beautiful. Anywhere you can see. Now the sandbars over there on the right. 
That's actually the opposite side of the main channel. The water continues on right out to the main channel there. We're going to go left here. We're going to stay away from that. But as we turn here, we're going to be looking down the river. And that's water all the way right down to the main channel here to the left as well. We're going to go a ways, and then we're going to take a left-hand turn back into the backwater right there. But we're going to be out here for a little bit, and a little stronger water, if you can call that strong. So that's the big, mighty Mississippi right up ahead there. And we're going to turn left here, and cut back in. This is the furthest we're going to go south from Tremplo, right here. And the canoe trail, kayak trail, takes a turn to the left, and we'll be heading back north. Now you have to stay close to the left here and look where you're going, because you can easily miss the trail, which kind of hugs the left-hand shore here as you go back north. And it's easy to miss it. I know because this is only the second time I've been here and we missed it the first time, so we're hoping to find it this time. So we'll see how it goes. Take one little spin here around, show you the bluff up there again, what the views are like here before I make the turn to the left. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. There's a kingfisher up ahead. We'll sail right at him. A beautiful bird. A very beautiful bird, the kingfisher. There he goes. come towards the Wisconsin side a little bit more here, we come to a large marsh, and it's here where you have to watch for a little bit of an inlet to the left. That show enough shows up on the map, but it doesn't show up in reality too well. You can see the farm over there give you some idea where you're at out here because the bluffs now are quite a ways away on the Wisconsin side. So we're going to be watching here and trying to find the channel to the left to head back to Long Lake Landing. through what's a channel of swamp here that you really won't even be able to tell is a channel and we're thinking that we have to hug the shore here to find our way back so this is with the water a foot higher if the water was any lower you wouldn't be able to virtually distinguish this as a channel so you really got to pay attention otherwise you may end up having to retrace about half your kayak trip back to get to the landing when you come out in the wrong spot. This is the way we're going. It doesn't look like much, but I think it's the right way. We'll find out.
I would say it's easy to tell why we didn't find our way the first time. Because as you look at this, without there being any signs, it's pretty difficult for most people to think you're going to have a kayak route through this. Now, this is only the second time I've been here. But as I say, the first time I never found my way, right? So, you really have to hug the left shore once you turn back north. And even at that, I'm still not sure I'm going the right way. So, good luck to others and uh, study the map and uh, study the sun and study the wind. It looks as if potentially a boat's been through here before. And that's what I'm going by. But as you can see by the grass and stuff, there's a little bit of water in here. And I think this is going to take me where I need to go. If the river wasn't up about a foot or a foot and a half from where it normally is, this would be practically unnavigable. So, it's a questionable route. to get here. It shows the kayak trail splitting out there in the big marshy area. found the inlet off the big marsh that we expect to get back to the landing on. adjustments to deeper water. Expect faster water near the main channel. Well, you really can't make adjustments to deeper water in the big marsh area, so I don't recommend taking it in later summer. I would only recommend taking it maybe up to early June and then in later fall. Hope you made it, and I hope you enjoyed the beauty of the area, and it was a good time, so thanks for coming along. 